Hey, Redken Brand Ambassador Sylvie Reese here with my client Megan, and we're, we're going to be doing a root touch up on her using the new color gels and directly matching that with the shades EQ in the same level. Just toning out all of her her hair to remove some of that unwanted warmth that she came in with. The roots are going to be a lot cooler without looking ashy. So for the root formula, I'm going to be using the new Color Gel Lacquers and I'm going to be doing one ounce of that and one ounce of 20 volume peroxide. The beauty of the new lacquers is that you can mix these with any developer. I also love the easy mixing ability of these lacquers. I can literally mix this in about two seconds and it's ready to apply. I like to start off by applying the color all over the perimeter of the section that I'm working in. Then grabbing horizontal sections to apply the color on the root until I'm done with that section. The correct way to touch up a root color and tone the rest of the hair is always to use an alkaline color on the roots, which is needed to lift the hair, and an acidic color to tone the remainder of the hair. So bringing the pH balance of the hair down. As you can see in this diagram here, the hair that is too alkaline will open up the hair cuticle and the hair will become dull and brittle. Oftentimes clients will ask why I don't run the color through the ends and this is the scientific reason why. By running the color on the roots all the way to the ends would just be adding unnecessary damage to the hair where you can get the absolute same results but without any of the dryness or damage. Having directly matching colors from the color gel lacquers and the shades EQ toner make formulating and getting a seamless look that much easier. So keeping clean and even sections will ensure that you've evenly saturated the hair. And so while we process, why not enjoy a glass of rosé? For her toner, I'm going to be using Shades EQ 09N, which is in the new Redken's Master the Art of Toning box. I'm mixing 1 ounce of 09N Shades EQ, 1 ounce of Crystal Clear, and 2 ounces of Processing Solution. So then rinsing out her root color and prepping her hair for toner. This is going to even out the tones. The neutral shade is going to cancel out any warmth in her hair and just leave her hair with incredible shine. And as you can see, perfectly toned hair without looking too gray or ashy. Then just a quick trim and we're ready for a blowout. I'm applying Redken's Heat Design a Thermal Shaping Blowout Cream.
As you can see, her blonde looks toned, even, and refreshed. I always think a beach wave is just so flattering on freshly colored and toned hair because you get to see all the dimension and shine through the hair. and toning all of her hair to remove some of that unwanted warmth that she came in with. The roots are gonna be a lot cooler without looking ashy. 